ridiculous that I was even arrested in the first place. Hello, Nick. Yeah, but why didn't you show up to court today? Hi, Milo. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah. Fancy. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm working. Oh, working? Me too. I heard you got kicked off the force. What I do is I hunt down idiots who jump bail. You are a bounty hunter? Yep. As much as it pains me to say this, I gotta take you to jail. Last time we talked, you gave me some really great guy advice. It was for the ugly truth, and they had given us like a sex bag, and we went through like the, the you know, all the little things. That oh, we did we? Mm -hmm, we did. I can tell how much of an impression it made. No, so, I'm just, I'm just played hunter. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> that. I remember. Um, so I thought, you know, we could continue the tradition. You know, keep, you know, giving me. I just turned 22, so I need as much advice as I can get. How the the, the guy advice on on dealing with your ex? Oh, in dealing with your ex. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Okay. I don't know if this is right, but I'm, I'm, I think a more interesting thing is some things that have happened to me. Okay. Um, and, and one of the more interesting ones was when I went to visit an ex of mine. Oh, she wasn't my, we were in the middle of breaking up, got into a huge argument, ripped up my passport, and I had to, and I managed to do this, by the way, fly from Canada to Scotland the next day with no passport by doing a bit of sweet talking. I've had girls um, find out my passcode, you know, my, my pin code for my phone, mm -hmm. and um, call, call my phone and delete my messages <laughs> and uh, listen to my messages. Um, I've had some crazy stuff happen to me. I, however, um, you know, I'm all about playing it cool. Of course. You know, I'm all right. A little bit like, like, like Milo in this. He's, I mean, he's not cool, but he's trying his hardest to be, you right. know, I'm cool. I'm having loads of sex. I'm having <laughs> a great time with many different women. I have a great girlfriend, and you know it's like, yeah, right. No, you have got to be kidding me. You cannot be serious. I'm dead serious. Milo, you've got to let me go. Cops are involved in the story that I'm working on. Well, that's a real shame. Oops. <laughs> Hey, remember how we used to be in love? Yeah. That means I know when you're crying for real and when you're faking it. Bye-bye. <laughs> this place is really nice. Glad you like it. So you paid for it. Me? Yeah, I looked at your credit card. Milo, don't you dare leave me here like this. You probably have to pay for that, too. Are you sure you can handle this? I won't even break a sweat. There's a black SUV that's been following us. They may want to kill me. The only person right here who wants to kill you is me. <laughs> to figure out girls, but I hear that girls oh, have to God. be chased, and, and, and this is like kind of the ultimate chase movie. Right. But in the sense that, you know, he's he's yeah. he's following you a little bit, to say the least. Do, yes. do, do, is, is that a, like, do girls like when the guys kind of go after them? Well, I would say, of course, I think it's always nice to have, have someone pursue you, mm -hmm. yes. Um, but I don't think that, that, that Nicole really gets that it's a romantic pursuit at this point. I think, you know, she's trying desperately to get away from him, and I think that's sort of the fun of this movie, mm -hmm. is that they sort of rediscover what, what it is that they, they sort of loved about each other. So the chase does sort of become a little bit uh, f fuzzy and gray at, at a certain point. So maybe if you're going to chase a girl, maybe not come after her with handcuffs. Not cars. a no, yeah, don't, don't hit her in the back of her car with another car. And, just and, or handcuff details. or throw her in trunks. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm writing all these things down, yeah. and I'm going to try the next time I see you, I'll let you know how, that, how, it how it's all worked out. So this is what you want to do for a living? Yes. And, and oh, you're, you're great at it, by oh, the way. Well, thank you. I don't know what just happened, but this was really enjoyable. What the hell have you got yourself into? Oh, now you're interested. Half of New Jersey is looking for you. Where the hell is Milo? Milo. Milo. The other half is looking for your ex-wife. We got to go undercover. What a pleasure, Senator. I'm actually a former model. <laughs> really? How long ago was that? <laughs> You're a bounty hunter, not a bounty helper. I'm still bringing her ass to jail. <laughs> you two made a horrible couple. Oh, sorry, did I wake you? And she made you miserable. Not as miserable as I'm gonna make her. You know, I, I was doing, you know, I was on the internet last night and doing research and, and looking you guys up, and, and you know, I, there was a, an article that came up, and there was one line that they used as the headline. It what? probably wasn't true. I thought, th there's no possible way that he actually said that. And then I actually read the article, and the line was something that was just like a joke that was taken out of context. And so I thought, that's, that's got to be weird. Is it weird to do interviews thinking that you can say some of the most, like, random things and it could pop up as, like, this out-of-context headline? You know, 
a lot of actors are, are criticised when they're interviewed as, as giving a very bland interview, but I completely understand that because the second that you get into it and start telling stories, then you know you're going to land yourself in trouble, and it's not, you know, people... It can be nasty sometimes. It's like you say, they take the one word or the one line, and, and the whole point often was the, was the opposite. You were saying the opposite, and then it comes out. That, they'll put that as the headline, and then they'll explain it in the story, or they don't even explain it. Yeah. So, um, um, you can tell me maybe after the interview what it was. Yeah, I'll said, tell you. That's right. Right. Hey, you trying to seduce me? What? Yeah. What's the hottest thing about me? Um, that would be my gun. Uh, you are sick. <laughs> the bounty hunter. Something tells me I should frisk you. Why do I look like I'm hiding a weapon between my breasts? What are you doing in there? Where do you think you're going? Uh, 